Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. I'm still here at Tobomori and today we're having a look at the gin production of Tobomori. If you'd like to know more about the dis uh, history of the distillery then watch the whiskey distilling video of Tobomori. Um, there I'll go a bit more into the history. Let's talk a little bit more about the gin at the distillery. Uh, when the distill group took over the distillery they actually decided to uh, then also go into gin in 2019 so they brought out their Tobomori gin their kind of standard bottling and every year they actually brought out a new gin the second one was the the mountain gin I think I've already tried that here on the channel and the new one is now one that's more coastal more with uh, I think it was with seaweed or something like that uh, really interesting I haven't tried it yet and yeah I'm not quite sure what, what I'm gonna see inside the distillery with botanicals and everything. Maybe we're going out somewhere, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm as excited as you are. So let's get into the distillery. So let's talk about ingredients for gin. So behind me, we have the most important ingredient that is juniper. And the juniper is actually put into a basket and hung into one of these big steel tanks that's being filled up with 65% uh, industrial alcohol, which is flavored a little bit by new make from the distillery. They are not allowed to use the new make as a base, otherwise you would not have a gin because gin is made from industrial alcohol. So the, the, the whiskey put in here is just enough that you can taste it. So that's what they want. They want to have their new make as a flavoring and they can't do it with their whole, whole new make, otherwise it would not be gin. Uh, then for the normal one we do have coriander which is currently in there and I can't reach down there and you have orange peel and a number of other botanicals which is yeah, a secret they tell you yeah there are 14 botanicals in in the gin up till now I don't think they have 14 in here because they own, not only do the maceration before the distillation but also they do some stuff inside with the distilling but uh, we'll come to that later then you do have other uh, gin so you have the normal one and for example here we have some yeah main ingredients for the mountain gin uh, we have Robin mm, you realize it's getting stronger with every minute you have it in your mouth and mm, because that's dried so you put it in they actually leave it there for a few days so it really soaks up and really gives you a lot of flavor in there and then this here uh, is the rose hip Mm. That really reminds me a little bit when I was young because in Germany we have a lot of rose hip tea, especially when you're ill. And what comes out is this drink here. This is macerated industrial alcohol. You could filter it and call it a gin, or you could call it gin now, um, but um, here at Tobomori they actually do want to distill it because, yeah, it tastes much better. But let's try it. What, what, what's the base? the base for the for the gin and it it's really it smells like a really classical gin a lot of juniper in there this is the base for the, the mountain gin mm. Mm -hmm. mm, a bit strong ah, 65% uh, 50, 65% yes and ooh, a lot of juniper is in there a lot a lot of juniper is in there mm -hmm. 65 is not a random number usually you'd go a little bit higher but as they're here on the remote island they have to obey to the maritime law that is bound to the ferries and the ferries don't allow more than 65 percent abv to be uh transported in yeah tankers vessels anything so that's why they have 65 percent and oh that that is that is actually really good it's it's not complex it's pretty straightforward juniper it's very classical gin and yeah this is the first step for the tobomori distillery let's get inside have a look at the gin still and see what they're doing next behind me is the gin still it's a second hand still from south africa the distill group who owns the tobomori distillery comes from south africa so i guess they just had it standing around and said yeah let's let's make a tobomori gin and just ship it up here it was then refurbished by fourth size and yeah i'll tell you about what what fourth size did they did all the piping and a bit more 
The macerated spirit that we saw earlier comes into the pot. It's being filled with 2,000 liters. It's called Big Mary, as in Tobomori is Saint Mary. So they call it Big Mary, 2,000 liters. It's being heated with steam coils and then the vapor rises. This is where then the magic happens. That little insert there between the two black lines is kind of the aroma basket. And here it's more of a um, aroma insert, but it doesn't matter. And here you put all your botanicals on a plate uh, that has holes in it. And the vapor touch these botanicals and take, yeah, take the flavors in. So you have the tea in there, you can see that. And you have to add juniper, otherwise you couldn't call it gin in, let's say, South Africa, which is important for that company. So they add gin in there. And in total, they have 14 botanical for their normal gin, which is quite a lot. And they don't tell me which all of them. They don't tell me all of them. And they don't tell me how much they use. So yeah, that's a big secret. But hey, they are doing it. I don't need to. Next up is the cooling jacket. So it's a cooling jacket of cold water that cool the surrounding of the neck. And everything that touches the neck then condensates because the neck is so cold. Flows back down into the pot, get redistilled, more copper contact, more contact with the botanicals. And everything else goes up to the top. And there is another reflux line at the swan's neck that goes back into the pot. That's common and or not very common, seldomly seen in whiskey distilleries as well. And last of it is the shell and tube condenser and that condenses everything down to a liquid that has then about 80% ABV. And yeah, that's too much to be shipped on a ferry. So here they water it down to 65% and then you can ship it off to the mainland to be bottled as the Chobomori gin. Yeah, enough talk about all of this gin making. Let's have the gin inside the, uh, yeah, the bar. So I'm sitting here with Olivier McLean. So you're here the brand home ambassador and you've, you've seen all the, the production and been within the development, a very exciting process. So thank you very much for having us here. No worries. Thank you for coming along. It's uh, my distinctive pleasure to talk you through our three award-winning gins, nice. if I can say so. Uh, why three? So we started the adventure in, back in 2019 with our classic uh, Tom mm -hmm. Mori gin. Okay, so what is it? Grant. <laughs> so, uh, what makes our gin unique? Uh, because we have so many gins at the mm -hmm. moment. I think first and foremost, the location. And mm -hmm. you see that through your bottle, it's all about the houses on the back, which is <laughs> stunning. Uh, secondly, botanicals. So on the classic one, we have um, 14 botanicals. Uh, some are displayed here. And most of the botanicals grown on mull. Okay. Like juniper, hatter, tea, uh, elderflower, which is absolutely ground. You can grow tea here? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. So, just for us, okay? <laughs> so I'm quite honest with you uh, today, Benedict, not so many orange mm. trees grow on mall, <laughs> so we do have to buy some botanicals, yeah. okay? And also how we distill it and the process you have seen and been through, which is very unique for a gin. Mm -hmm. So I invite you to have a smell and you will smell it yourself. It's a very, oh. very distinctive flavor. Me, myself, i not so profound on gin. Mm -hmm. uh, Gordon's gin, for example, I need more tonic. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm biased being the brand uh, a home manager, but ours is such unique mm -hmm. and you can take it neat. So I that's why I say, say yep. I, I didn't try any, uh, many of the I, mainstream gins I, yet. I, I, <laughs> I so I, I invite you that one here. Uh, but mm -hmm. you get right away, it's lemon, <clears throat> yes. orangey. That's kind of the top on that, uh, mm -hmm. what you get in the nose. Even though it's 43% uh, of mm -hmm. alcohol, it's very smooth. I think it's very fresh, yeah. refreshing, right. and you still got the, the juniper right. going on yeah. and right. you feel the gin, but it's refreshing. Right. I say it's a drinking, sipping gin though. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice, uh, very light. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you wear, a splash of new make from the Tobe Mori distillery, from the whiskey side as well. So it makes it very, very unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it comes, it grows. I, oh, I, oh. You have such a intensity in there. I have to say, I had one or two mainstream. They're yeah. just like, 
I actually compare them to vodka more than, than aye, gin, and aye. this is this is gin. Aye, aye. <laughs> this is Thank a, you very much. No, no, we are very, very, and again, see, mm -hmm. we started in nineteen, and they get the gold medal mm -hmm. in twenty twenty, being the best classic Scottish gin. Mm -hmm. uh, stunning. <clears throat> and then we talked about okay, what mm -hmm. what we do next? Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to keep it <laughs> in the milestones. So we launched that one by 2020 in all the pandemic. <clears throat> what mm -hmm. it's different on the mountain, beside of the display on the back, mountain obviously, it's we added on the botanical side rose hip on it. Yeah, which makes it for me. But then again, it's a personal affair, a wee bit sweeter on the note. However, me I tend to get some basic tonic with it. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit spicier though, but make, make yourself your result. Mm -hmm. uh, and now then, this, yep. This is exciting because I just had the I, base that went into the still. Production at the moment, and, yes, sir. And yes, that is, that's, okay, that's less, L less, less of, a, I, uh, of a juniper note to it. Yep. But it's, I, I did have that like, I don't know, one or two months ago in front yeah. of the camera. And I do like it because it's such a, a berries and, yep. and wild berries and this, this, yeah, this rose hip is Aye. really, really doing it for me. Aye. I do love it. Nicely. Mm -hmm. mm. Same ABV. We kept it all through mm -hmm. the all through the places. It's uh, forty three percent. Uh, different though mm. than the previous one, uh, but very nice. It's it's strange because it has freshness. Yeah. But it has that berries Aye, and that berries not that just captures your mouth and it's just Absolutely. clogging in your mouth and Gland. okay. You said most of them are from from Mal, yes, the, the ingredients. Yeah. So uh, you have a corporation going on. So we have a, a gardener, a gardener or not, yes. which is part-time gardener, <laughs> part-time uh, priest, <laughs> which is which is Mal again. Yeah. Uh, so down south, uh, after you hit uh, Craig Noor, which is the the port where you come from, open with the ferry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, off that about five miles out there. There she has her garden mm -hmm. and brings uh, the tea leaves and stuff like that to us to get mm -hmm. it produced, which is stunning. So the, the ingredients are grown or do yep. you, some collect outside? Uh, and most grown on mall and the other ones which you don't grow, we mm -hmm. get them delivered from the mainland. But do you grow them or in the wild? No, we grow them. You grow Plant. them. I, 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 I just thought that with heather, it's just that heather is everywhere. I know, it? but <laughs> <laughs> just heather is in a control base. <laughs> it's ground. <laughs> So that mm -hmm. one again, mm -hmm. 2020, and we get another gold award for the mountain as well. Nice, uh, stunning. So we said, so we have to keep going. Obviously, mm -hmm. coast. Mm -hmm. So coast, the name reveals saltiness. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then another nice uh, coastline, of course, from us. And this one, I say, it's kind of like a peated single malt. You like it or you don't. Mm -hmm. However, me personally. It's very much more go on on your palate than the previous two's. Mm -hmm. A splash of salt, however. Scottish lavender, samphire, and kelps are those ingredients who make the saltiness out of it. Okay, La lavender, sapphire. Actually, I don't know what sapphire is yeah. in, in my language, so <laughs> <laughs> botanics are really hard to translate. I, I, I. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you get it right it's, away. It's I. so much different. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 But still rounder than I expected. See, for me on the palate, not saying the other ones are not good, but it, it goes so much more in your palate with the third one. Yeah, it, it's it's it feels like a, um, a scented oil or, or an essential oil. I don't know. What, what not, do you, mm. not too much. So it's not like mm. you're swimming in the sea and have a splash mm. of the sea in your mouth, but because there are botanicals involved, obviously, but something in it. Mm -hmm. What we do recommend for customers, uh, you should drink the neat, mm -hmm. ice cubes and garnishing. Mm -hmm. So if you go back to the first one, we recommend a slice of mm -hmm. blood orange mm -hmm. as a garnish. On the second, the mountain, we said uh, blueberries. Mm -hmm. And on the third one, either a slice of lime and or cucumber. A cucumber. I okay. know. Yeah, stunning. Some, yeah. Uh, the and distillery manager goes in that nice uh, goblet we call it mm -hmm. for the gin, and uh, he does much more bloody marys with the with the coast bun, uh -huh, which is okay. interesting. Mm -hmm. ah, I do love it. Um, I usually do uh, the gin tonic here as well, uh -huh. but for your gins, 
it's for me it's sometimes it's a bit like like this is such a good gin oh, uh, that should be uh, should be a but neat uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah if you uh, want to have it in your uh, in your gin tonic uh, it's uh, you you can have it any way you want uh, yeah so you know, yeah very nice and i especially like the third one and we have uh, don't have that in our market uh, yet uh, but hopefully we'll get we that soon do. and okay. we will probably do so what what you get mm -hmm. all of them on our web page mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. because of the the size we are i cannot handle the the mail marketing on site mm -hmm. so we have a company based in glasgow and mm -hmm. you will find all of them on www.tobmoydistillery.com oh yeah and sure Go on and find them and get them. Yeah, and you can have tours here as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So we started doing tours about uh, three, four months ago. Mm -hmm. So we haven't done that for about two and a half years. Is so that always a, is that whiskey and gin or is the that... gin only goes in an experience or experience like like uh, uh, here? It's just a tasting. Mm -hmm. The the whiskey goes along with the tour. With with through the distillery yes, and then you have a yeah. whiskey. Whiskey afterwards. Ah, okay, so yeah, it's it's definitely worth the visit, and the, the scenery here in Tobermore so, is nice. Right. I haven't I haven't watched the sea life yet, but I probably <laughs> hopefully <laughs> will. So yeah, thank you, Olivier, Thank you very much for, for having sure. us here. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you very much. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have friends who might be interested in this video, then please feel free to share this video with your friends. And yeah, thank you, and see you next time.